<clears throat> hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you guys on today? I hope you had an awesome, awesome night on last night. Well, guess what? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris and I have an awesome, awesome book to read for us on today. Today's book we are going to be reading is going to be, today is Wednesday, don't forget, on Wednesdays are our Christian dates. Hello, Shekana, hello, Shaquavia. Today's book we are going to be reading is, let me turn the music down just a tad bit. Today's book we're going to be reading is The Prodigal Son. The Prodigal Son is the story we are going to be reading today. And our Muppet guest friend is going to be, well, guess what? He is wearing the same color as Miss Doris today. Our Muppet friend is Donald Duck. Donald Duck is our Muppet friend. And the title of our book today is The Prodigal Son. But before we get started with our prodigal son, we're also going to be reading a scripture in the Bible that's going to go along with our story um, of our book we're reading today, which is going to be Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32 of the scriptures we're going to be reading that's going to coincide with our story we're reading today about the prodigal son. Well, guys, guess what? I'm just going to go ahead on and get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for a story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited to be reading you a book on today. We're going to go ahead on and give our shout outs to a few people before we get ready for that story time song. I'd like to say hello to you and welcome to story time with Miss Doris. Hello to Miss Chrissy. Hello, Miss Chrissy. Alberti, how are you? Phyllis R, Champagne C, Bellin R, Fran H, Sheree J, Magdalena A, and Miss Tess. Hello, guys. How are you? I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. And I also like to say welcome to all of our new story time followers. On today, we are up to 866 followers. We are almost at that thousand mark. You guys, don't forget. Share, share, share story time with your family and friends. Maybe they don't have time to read to the children, but guess what? They can tune in to Miss Doris with story time with Miss Doris. So I'm so excited to be reading you a story on today. I know you guys are so, so ready for that story time song. Give a shout out to POCC family. Hello, guys. Pastor Nina Clady. Hello, Brother Ruben. Hello, Miss BJ. Hello, guys. Hello, Brother Rainey. Sister Rainey, hello, Elder Artist. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. Remember, when we're doing that story time song, make sure you guys are practicing safety, safety first at all times. Hello, Jojo. Hello, Royce. Hello, Sophia. There it goes. I love that song. Hello, Shekana. I know you love that song, Shekana. I want to hear you sing it really, really, really loud. It's story time. And I have an exciting book. Story time. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. Sing to you, tell you all just what to do. <clears throat> Hello, Shukara. Are you singing really loud? What are you having for lunch on today? It's story time. I bet you're wearing beautiful, beautiful colors. It's story time. Story time with Miss Shuri to you. Sing to you. Tell you all just what to do. Wow, you guys are singing really, really loud. I enjoy that story time song. It really, really, really gets you moving. Well, moms and dads and nannas and papas, hello, hello, Miss Nisha, hello, Royce, how are you on today? Well, we already gave our shout outs. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Stories. Today's story we're going to be reading is 
And don't forget, today is Wednesday. Wednesdays are our Christian day. Wow, pink and blue. I love those colors. Today's book we're reading is The Prodigal Son. And our guest is Daffy Duck. Daffy, is she going to win? Well, let's see. I don't know. Maybe I'll give something away today. We'll see. Look, our colors today are blue and white. Our Muppet friend is Daffy. Da not Daffy. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. And the story we're reading today is The Prodigal Son. I've also incorporated it with, along with The Prodigal Son, since today is Wednesday, our Christian day, we are going to read a scripture in the Bible, which is going to be coming from Luke 15, the 15th chapter, verse 11 through 32. 11 through 32 is the scripture we're going to read today. Let's coincide with our book we're reading which is the prodigal son which has pop-up pages so i'm gonna go ahead on and get start reading that first since it's kind of lengthy so i'll go ahead on and get started with that go ahead on guys have a seat while i read you an awesome 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 beautiful blessed story on today luke <clears throat> chapter 15 verse 11 through 32 and he said a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father Father, give me the portion of goods that has fallen to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his mighty and took his journey into a far, far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. When he had spent all, there was a rose, a mighty famine in the land. And he began to be in, <clears throat> excuse me, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. <clears throat> and he would feign and fill his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hard servants of my father have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger and I will arrive to go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee and no man no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and even in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat, and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost, but now he's found. And they began to be merry. And now his elder son in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thou brother is come, and thy father has killed the fatted elf, because he has received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress 
I at time thou commandest, and yet thou never gavest me a kid, that I might marry with my friends. But as soon as thy son was come with <clears throat> the vile thou living with her lot, thou hast killed for him the fatted cow. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and that I have is thine. And it was meet that we should make very and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and now is found. I read you Luke chapter 15 verses 11 through 32. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Now I'm going to read you the book of story for today. A prodigal son, which has pop-up pages, pop-up books. A man had two sons. One day, the younger son came to him and said, Father, I want to stay on the farm. I want my inheritance so I can travel and start a new life. He wanted all his inheritance that his father had saved for he and his brothers. He wanted everything that was coming to him. He didn't want to wait till his father had passed and gone on. He wanted it at that time. The younger son set off to see the world. He ate and drank like a king. He partied with his friends and didn't work in no time. He had gone through all of his money, went through everything that his father had given him for his inheritance. Why? Because he wanted to party and have fun with his friends. His money didn't last a long time because his friends had nothing to give. So guess what? He shared in taking care of everyone. So everyone party for free off the prodigal son's inheritance. A great famine had came, and he got a job feeding pigs. The pigs ate better than he did. Even my father's feeds his hired men. He said, I will go home and ask for a job. Now he's feeling really, really sad and sorry for himself. He used all his funds, all his money, he ate very, very well in the castle, but guess what? All his money ran out, so he had to go out and get a job. But guess what? Long as he was at home, he didn't have to get a job. His father taking very good care of him. The father hugged his son. Will you let me be your hired man? Asked the son. <clears throat> You are not my hired man. This is what his father said to him. You are my son. You, we must celebrate. You were lost. He was lost. He left home, spent all his inheritance, had to live as a bum. Now you are found. So even though the prodigal son had left his father's home, left his brothers, left everything, taken his inheritance that his father had for him and party once he left. But guess what? When he left and came back and asked his father for forgiveness, his father ran to him with open, open arms, even though he left and taken everything. Once we leave and we come back, into the knowledge of God. Guess what? Even though we have left God, but God never leaves us. <clears throat> we leave him. He says in his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Oh my God, that is such a blessing. So this God 
So in our story for today, for the prodigal son, it goes to tell us that even though you leave, you come back, we open, we accept you back with open arms. And guess what? God is love and he wants us to love every, everyone. And even though he left, he came back with nothing. Guess what? He still put the best, best robe on him that he could possibly find. Even though he felt, the son felt that he wasn't worthy. So guys, on today, make sure that you are loving on your sisters, your siblings, your brothers and sisters, your cousins and moms and dads. And guess what? Even though they leave and they may be gone for a long, long time, but when they come back, welcome them back with open arms, with love and kindness. You guys are so awesome on today. Thank you so, so much for tuning in with Story Time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited. And remember, if you're not feeling well on today, always, always let mom and dad know you're not feeling well. And they will take really, really, really good, good care of you. And when you're out about and playing with your toys or whatever you may be doing, when you come inside, make sure you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all, all times. We don't want you guys getting sick. I want you to enjoy the summer. And when you go out in public with mom and dad, and they give you your mask to put on, make sure you are wearing your mask. It's very imperative that you wear your mask at all, all times. Because guess what? We don't want you guys getting sick at all. So, for Shakana and Royce, I have something for you on today. So, guess what? I have a prize. I have a gift for Shakana and Royce on today. I will be sending you through the mail a book, sign and autograph by Storytime. And the book you guys are going to be getting is The Three Little Pigs. I will be mailing this out to you. It probably should go out in the mail on tomorrow. I will mail you out this book and I will make sure that I autograph the book for you, Royce and Shekana on today. You guys were so awesome. Don't, don't, don't forget, guys. Make sure you are sharing our story time. Remember, if you are not smiling on today... Donald Duck and Miss Storytime has a smile for you. Have an awesome, awesome day. Remember, you are love. Love all of you guys. Take care and God bless you all.